Jay Serrano, the Fullerton Titans. Coach moved to 9-7 and seven tonight with the 11-3 win over Washington. Uh, talk about uh, coming back and getting the win after a tough road trip. Well, like I said to the team, we needed that. We needed to, to, to get something to feel good about. It's, it's, it seems like it's been forever. It's only been four games, but it seems like a while since we've uh, felt good about something, and it was that was a big win for us to be able to, to, to swing the bats offensively. No, we set the tone early. We got uh, Ryan, or, uh, Ray Hernandez back in the mix. He's had some elbow soreness. And so it was, a, it was a good win, but uh, it's, it's one win, and we need to start stringing together some, some good baseball games uh, for our team. Yeah, talk about how important it is. I mean, you guys have uh, ASU coming in midweek, and you guys are off to wide. Just talk about how big uh, getting momentum back is on your side. Well, it's yeah, it, it is big. It, you know, I don't worry about who we're playing. I worry about who, who how we're playing, and, and that's what I'm most concerned about, not, not so much who's wearing the uniform on the other side. It's about what we're doing in our uniform, and, and I thought we took a little bit of a step forward tonight, and we, we've got to take more steps. Yeah, um, just talk about Noe, uh, you know, coming in as that Friday starter. Uh, last year, uh, struggled a little bit, and then, uh, you know, you guys uh, came in and played Hawaii, and he had that 14K game, and tonight he comes in, uh, you know, has 11 strikeouts, and sets the tone early. To just talk about him uh, being your Friday night leader. Well, that's, that, that's the key. I think the Friday night guy needs to do that. He needs to set the tone for the rest of the pitching staff. Um, Noe, uh, he had some innings that were a little bit longer one from the off, when we were on offense. And he started to get a little tightness, and that's. I sent him out in the seventh, and I told him I was going to have a short le leash. And I think he went out there a little tentative, to be honest with you. He was aggressive early in the game, and I think because he felt a little tightness, he was um, a little more tentative, and that's why we got him out in that situation. But he set the tone tonight, and that's what we need. That's you know, that's what we expect, and we need out of him every Friday night. Um, how excited are you with uh, developing a shortstop like Anthony Trujano? I mean, we talked earlier in the year, and um, you know, a few names came up, and uh, you know, he's. It he seems like he's a. Uh, you know, establish himself in that second base role? Well, I think Anthony has stepped up, and, and early on he, he was in the mix as a defensive player, and then he got his opportunity, and like many guys, you know, like we like to see, when a guy gets an opportunity, he takes advantage of it, and he's, he's really helped uh, solidify our offense in the two hole, and he plays fabulous defense. And then we, when we get the lead late, we'll move him over to third base. And, and I think there's not uh, many better infielders than we have um, late in the game, what we have on the, on the infield. Uh, real quick, talk about uh, Michael Lorenzen. I mean, he, three hits tonight. Uh, we all know his potential. Uh, just talk about him a little bit. Well, I, I think we're well aware of his potential, and I, start, I, I think we're starting to see it before our very eyes. Every game, he seems to continue to get better. And if he can continue to get better, and, and uh, be like a sophomore towards the middle of the end of the year. That's going to bode well for this team. All right, Coach, well, uh, good luck the rest of the weekend, and we'll catch up uh, in a few weeks. Thank you very much. All right, thanks.